27 Heart-Wrenching Quotes About Cheating Never cheat on someone that is good to you. Karma is a bitch. No woman could love a cheater and not pay the price for it. It might sound ordinary for a woman to find out her husband's cheating on her, but not if you're the woman and it's your husband. Next to hurting my family, cheating on me is the worst thing someone could do. Cheating and lying aren't struggles, they are reasons to break up. I can't deal with someone wanting to take a relationship backward or needing space or cheating on you. Fuck you for cheating on me. Fuck you for reducing it to the word cheating. As if this were a card game, and you sneak to look at my hand. Who came up with the term cheating, anyway? A cheater, I imagine. Someone who thought liar was too harsh. Someone who thought devastator was too emotional. The same person who thought, oops, he'd gotten caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Fuck you. This isn't about slipping yourself an extra $20 of Monopoly money. These are our lives. You went and broke our lives. You are so much worse than a cheater. You killed something. And you killed it when its back was turned. I've told Billy if I ever caught him cheating. I wouldn't kill him because I love his children and they need a dad. But I would beat him up. I know where all of his sports injuries are. The truly scary thing about undiscovered lies is that they have a greater capacity to diminish us than exposed ones. They erode our strength, our self-esteem, our very foundation. Betrayal was what I felt, my heart broken not just by a guy I was in love with, but also by, as I once believed, a true friend. When people cheat in any arena, they diminish themselves, they threaten their own self-esteem and their relationships with others by undermining the trust they have in their ability to succeed and in their ability to be true. Earthquakes just happen. Tornadoes just happen. Your tongue does not just happen to fall into some other girl's mouth. The more people rationalize cheating, the more it becomes a culture of dishonesty. And that can become a vicious, downward cycle. Because suddenly, if everyone else is cheating, you feel a need to cheat, too. Those who cheat on their partners who are loyal to them, don't deserve them. It is a trashy attitude to disrespect a person who is loyal in a relationship, by cheating on him or her. I gave my heart to a man who loved me, who wanted to be with me. Who ultimately was afraid of all I offered. Seriously, if the bastards cheat on you, then they don't deserve you anyway. If that's a legit fear, then you probably shouldn't be with them to begin with. Men cannot survive without cheating, it is in their nature. Cheats prosper until there are enough who bear grudges against them to make sure they do not prosper.
He'd lost the only part of his life that made it worth living because of a couple random fucks. How ridiculous. You didn't just cheat on me, you cheated on us. You didn't just break my heart, you broke our future. People cheat when they are afraid. When there is no cost to being wrong or confessing ignorance, there is no reason to cheat or fake comprehension. When a man cheats, it is said it is because he is a dog. When a woman cheats, it is said it is because her man is a dog. Virtually all women will always carry the scars and a deep sense of loss and grief from the betrayal. Whether a woman has stayed, left, or been left, it must be remembered that time is the salve on this journey towards forgiveness and healing, because it is also a process of grieving. If you discover your partner is cheating, drink like it's your last party. Blame everyone else for your problems, let binging be your new favorite hobby, and, by all means, fucking panic. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and check out videos you see on the screen, have a good day.